Hey friends, welcome back to the class and I hope you guys are doing pretty good. No matter which job you apply for, one of the most commonly asked interview question is tell me something about yourself. मेरी एक टांग नकली है मैं हॉकी का बहुत बड़ा खिलाड़ी था एक दिन उदय भाई को मेरी किसी बात पर गुस्सा आ गया तो मेरी हॉकी स्टिक से मेरी टांग के चार टुकड़े कर दिए लेकिन दिल के बहुत अच्छे हैं फॉरन हॉस्पिटल लेके गए ऑपरेशन करवाया नई टांग लगा दी ये स्टिक दी थोड़ा खर्चा दिया और नॉट Now over the period of time I have given a lot of interviews and I have also taken a lot of interviews and I have just understood one thing apart from your technical skills you should also have a strong communication skill and the way you answer this question that is tell me something about yourself decides whether the interviewer is going to listen to you throughout the interview or is just going to pretend to listen to you gentlemen you had my curiosity But now you have my attention. So in today's class, we will try to understand how to answer this question confidently. The second thing is, we'll also focus on how to create a great first impression in front of the interviewer and land more job opportunities. Along with that, I'm going to give you my formula on how I answer this particular question during the interviews, so you can use that script and customize it for your own reference. The second thing is I'm also going to tell you the tips on how to speak confidently in English if English is not your first language. So without wasting time let's get started. Now when the interviewer asks tell me something about yourself most of the time people see the same thing which is present in their resume. They talk about their schooling, then they talk about their college days, they talk about the projects that they have done, then they talk about the skill set they are having and if not they are also going to talk about the hobbies that how much they like uh, reading books, traveling, photography and where did they go last time etc. See the thing is the interviewer is not interested in knowing your life story your hobbies and all it's not a dating game that is happening over there it's a professional job interview so you need to make sure that you sound professional and you talk about your current project you talk about how you were able to bring automation testing into your projects how you were able to improve the quality of your application what were the strategies that you have implemented in your current projects always talk in terms of achievements because if you are not able to get their attention in the first 90 seconds there are 100 other candidates waiting to grab that attention and that job you're looking for. so you have exactly 90 seconds to tell the interviewer that you are the right fit for that role now whenever you are introducing yourself you need to focus on three things first you need to talk about who you are the second thing you need to talk about your achievements in the current project and the third thing is you need to tell them subtly why you are the right fit for the test automation role in their company and you might have 100 other reason for changing the job like you want to change the job because your paycheck is less or you don't like your manager the environment is toxic you are doing manual work you want to move into automation that's true but you can't be blunt about it if i'm going to hire someone i want to hire them because i have a problem which i can't solve by myself right so i want a professional who can join my company and start solving the problem asap is this part clear to everyone for people who are not comfortable with english okay here are my couple of tips for you guys learn to speak slowly okay your interviewer is not a grammar nazi he or she is not going to check whether you are speaking the correct english or not as long as you are speaking slowly and confidently you are doing a good job okay learn to speak clearly you don't need to rush into completing the entire sentence you need to just focus on one word at a time and whenever you are talking you need to just remember that you're talking to a human being right now i'm talking to you so i don't think that i need to just complete the entire statement in one shot no for me it's important the other person understands what i'm trying to say that's the reason point number 1 learn to speak slowly and second thing is the best interviews are the one which are based on conversation it's a conversation between two people 
those interviews are the best interviews. It's not a viva. Generally, you see a lot of interview questions floating around on LinkedIn and Telegram group, whatsoever. And people generally remember the answer based on the question. So if the question was asked in a certain way, you will be able to answer it. But if they just try to change it off, some people will not be able to answer it off. That's the reason these days a lot of interviews are always going to happen on the basis of conversation. Okay, the interviewer wants to know your personality. The interviewer wants to check your technical skill based on your experience, the things that you have done in your projects. All right, that's the reason. Try to speak slowly, take your time to think about it and then construct the statement. If you want to be confident in interview, start giving more interviews. Who's stopping you from giving interviews? You are having a fear of rejection. And the moment you just remove the fear of rejection, you are going to do a great job. Is this part making sense to everyone? So please make sure that whenever you are giving interviews and if you feel that, no, I don't want to lose the opportunity in certain companies, start applying in companies which are far away from your city. So let's say if I am in Pune right now, instead of applying in companies in Pune, why would I just apply in companies in Delhi, Noida, right? Or Bangalore. I'm not going to go over there. So even if I get rejected, well, the it doesn't really matter, right? So even if I'm going to get rejected, I'm, I'm not going to feel bad about it, right? Because I was anyway not going to change my city. So once I give five, six, seven, eight interviews, automatically your confidence is always going to be pretty high whenever you're going to appear it off. The fear of, you know, what is going to happen or the fear of unknown is going to be pretty less. Is this part clear? With that, I want to end this particular class with the script which I use for presenting myself in the interview. You can use it, you can customize it as per your convenience. When someone asks me in the interview, tell me something about yourself. My answer is a pretty straightforward, a prototype one. Hi, my name is Jatin Sharma. I have 10 years of experience in automation testing. I started my career with Infosys and I'm currently working with B2X. I'm not talking about my intermediate companies over here. Okay, so the start of my career and the current company. Now in B2X, I was the first test automation engineer to be hired. And my job over here was to bring automation into your current projects. So I was responsible for testing the application manually and also create testing strategy for bringing automation into the project. Over a lot of trial and error, we decided that API testing brings a better ROI. So we started automating Postman and integrating it with our CI. Currently, we have built a custom automation framework which can test the mobile application using APL, your API test using REST Assured, as well as my UI test with Selenium WebDriver. The testing library that we have used is TestNG and the framework is integrated with the CI tool Jenkins. Now, I'll be ending this introduction with the future plans that I have for my career. Currently, I'm learning cloud technologies because I have a keen interest in DevOps and I want to grow my career in future years in DevOps. So if you look carefully, the framework which I have, I introduced myself. Then I started talking about my first company as well as my current company. And I actually gave them a story that I was joined as the first test automation engineer and what exactly my worst job, okay? I did not say my skill sets include Selenium, Web Driver, Rest Assured and all. In fact, I gave them the idea that I have created a one framework which is going to be doing my UI testing, API testing, your mobile testing and the testing libraries that I have used. And I also gave them my future aspiration. Every person should have a future goal, right? And it showcased that when you're presenting yourself that, okay, I have a future goal to learn something new. It means that, you know, this person wants to do something different along with automation testing. So he or she might be learning new technologies. So this is a pretty good introduction. So please make sure you can use it, customize it for your own introduction scripts. Now, 
whatever I have said is definitely going to come back to me. So whatever I have said about Selenium WebDriver, Rest Assured, Postman, Jenkins, your AWS, your Docker, these things are going to come back to me. So make sure whatever you say, say it carefully because those questions are going to come back to you. Is this part making sense to everyone? Perfect. Now go ahead, write your script. And once you have written the script, do one thing. Just write your entire script and put it in the discussion section of the video. I will go through those uh, scripts and I'm going to give you a sign off whether some changes are required or not. All right. Along with that, practice. How do you practice on presenting yourself in the interview? See, you can record your own voice note over WhatsApp. Try to record it. This is how you're presenting yourself. Okay, and if you feel that you're sounding not confident, okay, try to bring more energy during the interviews. Okay, you will come to know by yourself. Okay, because when you start listening to your own voice, you'll understand whether I'm sounding confident or I'm sounding robotic. Do I really need to change something? Yes. Okay, so these things you try to do it and try to do it on a daily basis. You don't really need to mug up the script. But the point is, the more you try to speak it out, the better you will be sounding in interviews, the more confident you'll be sounding in the interviews. All right, that's it for this particular video. I hope this video was useful to you guys. Do let me know in the discussion section of the video, mark your attendance and also drop your scripts in the discussion section of the video. I'll go through it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'll see you guys around.